my name is Rachel Houck, and I'm writing a book called The Wedding Dress. And this is a story about a hundred-year-old wedding dress that impacts the lives of four women. As I was writing the story, it was interesting to me that the dress became a symbol of the gospel. It wasn't that something I started out to do, but something that came to me as I was working on the story and praying over the story. And the first woman who has the dress in 1912, she freely gives it to someone in 1939 when she couldn't afford a wedding dress. That woman put the dress in a trunk and it got just kind of stored away in her basement of her house, which is those deeper things of the gospel that's kind of started resonating in my heart. And the third woman finds the dress, she unlocks those deeper things of the gospel, and she wears it just in time for her wedding before her husband goes off to Vietnam in 1968. But she's wounded when her husband is killed. And so she puts the dress back in the trunk, and she doesn't want to ever see it again. It speaks of those times when people are wounded by the gospel because they don't understand the things that God does. And she wants to destroy it, but her father, in his wisdom, doesn't let her. But she blowtorches the lock shut so no one can ever wear this dress again because she associates that with all her pain. And then our heroine, Charlotte, she unlocks the dress in, 19, in 2012, and she redeems that dress. And the cool thing about the dress, through 100 years, it's never been altered, it's never worn out, and it fits every woman. And it's so true of the gospel. It never changes. It fits everyone who wears it, and it is timeless. So it's a really cool thing about this dress, but it's a lot of fun in seeing the romances develop of each woman. And we have some good historical things. We talk a little bit about suffrage in 1912 and the things that Emily was passionate about. And the cool kicker of the whole story is that the 2012 woman, Charlotte, thinks she has no family. And through this dress, she's going to find out that her great-grandmother was Emily, the first woman who wore it. The wedding dress, 2012.